Hello beautiful viewers, how are you all doing? I hope you all are enjoying your day so far. Welcome to another um, edition of Stella Zone. Today I am going to be making Ghana okra soup. Oh yeah baby, okra soup. Alright, so to make my soup, I need few ingredients. Okay guys, a lot of ingredients. <laughs> I have my meat. You can use any meat of your choice. Normally, um, in Ghana, we use the beef or goat meat, you know. But I have like um, I'm using lamb and beef neck bones. So mix it all together. I have um, three cups of spinach. I have salt, sodium um, bicarbonate. Which in Ghana, uh, what we call in Ghana, sodium bicarbonate, we call it in Ghana keu or kawa, keu or kawa, like that's used, is used in cooking the okra to make it thick and more slimy. All right, I have my crab, mm -hmm, blue crab cooked clean. All right, guys, I have my mackerel, which we call in Ghana, it's our version of salmon, okay. All right, I have my palm oil. I have have a cup of palm oil. I have some tomato sauce, um, some regular tomatoes. I have my Maggie cube, my magic. <laughs> I have two habanero peppers. I have one red and one yellow habanero. And I have also green pepper for flavor. You know, if you want flavor, use either red, green, yellow, bell pepper. So I'm using green pepper. I have a... Uh, half onion here which i'm going to be using so i think this is it let's get cooking let's get cooking all right this is my live blue crab i'm going to cook it and use it for my okra soup so i'm not going to touch this things okay i have my water boiling so i'm going to go ahead sorry guys See, they are moving. They are moving. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to kill you, but you bring flavor to the soup. So I'm gonna cook for five minutes. Should be. Okay guys, so I am going to put my heat on high, see, add just a little bit of water to cook, I have it on high, I'm going to cook this, you see all this, like you see when you buy your meat, you clean it, no matter what, it has like this blood, and besides you don't know how long the meat has been sitting on the chef i mean normally i try to get fresh meat but hey you can never tell so this is what i'm going to be doing i'm going to cover this and let it cook steam do it thin for about five or three to five minutes i'll take it off the stove wash it again clean it and it'll be ready to make my soup so all right guys so this is the meat, I am going to go ahead and rinse this water off. It does not smell that good, okay? That is why I told you you want to you wanna pre like boil your meat for anywhere from three to five minutes so you can get the... Because the meat has been sitting on the shelf, okay? So there's blood in it. It's been oozing and all that. So you just want to be able to get all these brown looking things off. I'm going to go ahead and rinse it off and now put it back on the stove, cook my meat, and we'll be ready to get started. All right, so our meat is rinsed. We've got all the dirty and oozing blood out. So I'm just going to add just a little bit of water. Just a little bit. About a quarter cup. 
going to add my chopped onion. I'm going to chop some onions on here. You can do this um, if you're afraid. You can use it. The, you can do this using the cardboard. board, okay? Don't worry. I still have all my fingers. <laughs> so, guys, I'm going to go ahead and add my spices while my meat cooks. And I have parted beef stock, like the bernie we have in Ghana, I have that. Um, I'm using powdered ginger, powdered onion, powdered garlic, uh, my ultimate umami spice. I have moringa, you see the green stuff, that's the moringa powder. I'm going to go ahead and add this to my meat. have about a quarter teaspoon of parsley so add that in here bring the heat down to about seven cook for ten minutes all right let's move on while our meat cooks I'm going to go ahead and cook my okra as well so I have about a cup of water here going to add my sodium bicarbonate make sure it's mixed in here all right so I have this the heat to cook the okra on a I'm going to go ahead at this point and add my okra in here and the sodium bicarbonate baking soda is going to help it thicken up and get more like slimy. All right, moving on, I'm going to go ahead and blend my peppers, onions, cut this up so it fits in the blender. Green pepper in here. And then I'll add just um, a medium-sized um, garlic clove in here. Uh, just a quarter cup of water. So I'm adding my garlic. Push it to the side. Cover this up. Go ahead and blend this. Alright guys, so it's been 10 minutes and our meat is done cooking. So I'm going to go ahead and transfer my meat from this pot, which I'm going to be using to make the soup, into a clean bowl. Alright guys, our okra is cooking really nice. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and lower the heat again. I'm going to put it all the way on three and let it cook. Because I remember when I was a little girl, my grandma used to tell me, she's like, do not stir it too much, otherwise it alters the sliminess or the thickness. So I'm like, okay, so just walk around with your heat. If you feel like it's burning, just bring the heat down and just let it just let it cook, cook till it's done. I'm going to add my palm oil. We're going to let our palm oil heat for a little bit. Just give it a little time to heat up. We're going to go ahead and add our blended sauce in here. I'm gonna go ahead and add my tomato sauce in here as well. At this point, I'm going to be here, keep staring, all right? So I'm going to bring the heat up all the way high. I've had the sauce cooking for about five minutes. It smells really good. What I'll do next is I'm going to go ahead and add my meat. I'm gonna go ahead and add my crabs as well. So. I'm going to have this cook for about five, five to seven minutes so that the juiciness from the sauce can permeate through my meat. You know, it's like sort of let them get to know each other, hug each other, kiss each other, make out, whatever they want to do in here. <laughs> That's their business. My business is to make sure they are together, okay? Our okra is done cooking, all right? I cooked it for about 10 minutes. It's ready. I'm going to use my metal ladle to 
smash it or mash it around a little bit okay normally you would do this in your asankine and your you use asankine and your takulu for this but i'm just since i have this i'm just going to go ahead and like that voila it's done i'm going to be introducing another guest to the sauce and that's my fish I deboned it, um, took the head off, cleaned it, and so it's going to go in my soup. It's going to go in my soup. So they are all together. All right, guys. So I have the fish, the meat, and the crab in a sauce. It looks really good. Well, this takes me back to Ghana. Oh, my goodness. There is no place like a home. You guys know we are really blessed, right? To come from a place where people are so nice and friendly and the food, oh, the food is on another planet. I, I am grateful that I'm married to a Ghanaian, okay? <laughs> he's looking at me, he's like, what? I'm not from Ghana, yeah, but he eats all the Ghanaian food that I cook in this house. So that is a great blessing. That makes my job easy. I don't have to cook two different dishes, so... All right, so at this point, I am going to add my okra. Okra, okra, nkrumah, add the spinach. Spinach is really good, guys. It's a good source of vitamin A, vitamin K. I try to incorporate it in a lot of my cooking. I try to eat it a lot. I even put it in my smoothie, okay? One last ingredient to add, my Maggie, all right? My shrimp bouillon, so. Yep, yep, yep. Our soup is almost done. At this point, I have the heat on full to just let it sit and relax while cooking. <clears throat> I have about eight more minutes on it for it to be done. It looks really good. Yay! Our okra soup is done, guys. Look at that. All right, guys, so this is the end product, all right? So okra soup is normally eaten with banku konkonte, banku konkonte or kenke. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed today's edition. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, please. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so. Like and share my video with other people as well, friends and families. Until we meet again right here on Stellar Zone, have a wonderful day. Stay safe out there, and God bless you all. Bye. I could eat this. I used to not like it, but this, this is good. Good job. You've converted me.